strange, but true stories. Tales from, you know what, I'm just going to skip that part today because I want to get right into this. As many of you know, we put a new Hunter story out last week and there have been a lot of positive comments. He's an incredible person who seems to be doing some pretty cool stuff and helping out a bunch of people in their conflict with otherworldly demons and such. Well, after last week's episode dropped, we received an email from The Guy. Now, I know what you're thinking. How do we know it's The Guy? Well, he checked so many of the proverbial boxes we have been given to verify his identity, along with other details that we believe only he could have known about the stories that have appeared on our channel, such as the identities of the people who shared their stories with us and other things. He said he's happy that people enjoy these stories and that the accounts are accurate. But at this point, he doesn't have interest in revealing himself and going public. He's mulling it over, and if and when the time is right, we may get a chance to interview him and let you hear his voice telling stories from his perspective. Until then, we have the email. Here it is as it was sent to us. Hello, I'm the man they call Hunter. I contacted Mr. White after a third story about me popped up. I, of course, verified my identity with Mr. White, otherwise you wouldn't be hearing this. I started doing what I do full-time in 1991, when I was only 15 years old, though I had been helping friends and family for a few years by then. I retired the first time at the age of 22, but got pulled back in only to retire again at 27. Twelve years plus did a lot of physical damage, so I had to step away. I still help people from time to time when I can, but I have a family now, and I have to keep them safe. Those looking for help in St. Louis, there is still someone there helping people out. Tommy, from the first story of The Entity and the Hunter, he was trained by me, but he is near retiring also. However, I hear that there is a pancake-slash-waffle place in St. Louis that has a cook who's been known to help people out from time to time. Many have asked if I know Dakota. Like most of you, I hadn't heard of him until the stories appeared on this channel. A channel which was brought to my attention after my youngest daughter heard a story she remembered me telling her when she was little. I've been a fan ever since. This part, Mr. White will probably not want to read, but what he does is just as important as what I do or did. He gives a voice to the voiceless, giving them a place to safely share their story. Mr. White, I personally thank you on behalf of all those whose stories you've shared. Most wouldn't take the time to listen. Mr. White has asked if I have any stories I'd like to share. I'm not sure any of mine would be worth sharing. As I told him, these stories aren't mine to tell. But for those stories that have been told, if Mr. White or any of you would like to hear my version of the events, given that they've already been shared by others that were there, I'd be glad to do so. I'd also like to warn everyone out there to be careful. There are people out there like Dakota and myself, but for every one of us, there are a hundred more that pretend to be in order to manipulate and take advantage of people. Anyone who says they are me, they are not. I don't go out hunting anymore. I'm not dead yet, so there may still be good for me to do, but chasing entities through the woods or performing three banishings a night probably won't be happening. I've already explained this to Mr. White, but I'd like to explain it here as well. I have no issues with Mr. White making videos about stories that involve me. Also, I do not now, nor will I ever request or expect any compensation for stories involving me. Both my spiritual beliefs, as well as my personal morals, will not allow me to accept money for anything I do, or anything that involves what I have done. But I am very proud of and honored by what Mr. White is doing on this channel. So if sharing my own personal stories or telling my version of stories people have already shared with Mr. White will in any way help him give validity to the people who shared the stories with him or entertain and inform his viewers, then I think I can do that. Let me know in the comments below if you want to hear stories from me and I'll see what I can do. Like I told Mr. White, this is all new to me. I'm more of an in-the-shadows kind of guy than an out-in-the-open kind of guy. But hell, 
If this is how I'm meant to help, then so be it. And that's it from the man we call the Hunter. So what do you think? Do you want more stories about the Hunter from the man himself? Let us know and let him know in the comments below. If you have a story that you would like to share with us, we'd like to hear it. Just send the story in an email to strangebuttruestories2 at gmail.com. Subscribe if you haven't already, and sign up for notifications in the top right corner. Thanks for watching. I'm Steve White. Until next time.